Hi everyone, this is Varun Yadav. I am cloud engineer here at Oracle and with me I have Aditya Trivedi. In this video, we are going to show you how you can implement pagination in Visual Builder Cloud Service from Oracle Database in private subnet using Oracle Integration Cloud. So this is the very high level flow of what we are going to do. So as you can see on the left hand side, we have our autonomous database that's inside the private subnet and the VCN. The question arises, why do we need this flow? Currently, VBCS doesn't support connectivity to the private database. So we need some kind of connectivity agent so that we can connect autonomous database that's in the private subnet to the VBCS. For that, we are going to use OIC. And the second part, like why do we need the pagination implementation? So let's say if our table have 10,000 record and we want to display into the VBCS. So if you are using the OIC by default, it won't be able to handle the pagination. So we will implement that logic using both database and in the OIC. Now I will hand over to Aditya to get started on OIC and show how we can implement pagination using OIC and autonomous database. Later we will use that integration to display a table on VBCS and see how the pagination works. Thanks Varun. Hello everyone, my name is Aditya and I will be covering the integration piece. So before we look at the integration, um, there are some prerequisites. So for OIC to connect to an ATP that's in a private subnet, we will require agent. Uh, agent needs to be installed on a VM that has access to the database. And um, then you can configure that agent in our adapter. And uh, there are several blogs, videos, documentation out there how you can do that. So um, in this video, I already have an ATP adapter that is configured uh, with a private connection to the uh, autonomous database via the OIC agent. So for VBCS to support pagination, um, the API that VBCS calls needs to have the following query parameters. Uh, one is the limit and second is the offset. Uh, limit is the number of records to pull per query and offset is the starting point. So that's how VBCS kind of knows when you scroll, um, then it needs to fetch the next 25 or 30 records. And then the response that our integration sends needs to have the has more um, and the total count. And this is what VBCS also uses internally to know when to stop um, making the API calls to fetch more uh, more data. So uh, coming to the integration, uh, integration is pretty straightforward. We have exposed a REST adapter. Uh, we call the database to get a count of records. So this is pretty straightforward. This is just a simple select query um, where you can see select count from our table. And then the second uh, call into the database, this is where we are actually performing the select on, uh, on the particular table. And if you view the query, um, this is where we also put in the uh, offset and the fetch next um, based on the, the limit of rows. So it's a pretty simple uh, query, uh, nothing fancy. Um, there, there is a way that you can do both of these things in a single call using the stored procedure, um, but you know we wanted to show you uh, another way to achieve this. And um, towards the end, we are just mapping back the response, which VBCS will take and uh, do two things. One is display the data in the table, and then uh, when you scroll, um, VBCS can internally get to know that it needs to make another call to the integration passing in the same limit, but another offset. And we'll take a look at this um, in the next section where Varun will go in and show the VBCS app. So uh, over to you, Varun. Thanks, Aditya. Now that we have our integration in place, let's create a simple web application that can display our data in a tabular format and see how the pagination works. So I'll create a new application in the VBCS and I'll say like, Give a name of OIC demo pagination. First step here is to create a service connection so that we can connect to our integration. 
select from catalog and then integration application and I will look for the integration that Aditi just created and this is the integration that we created click create and in the end point I'll just check if it's working or not go to the test all right we are getting our data all right now if I go to the web application I'll create a simple web application I'll give a name of main and in the component I'll select table in the properties I'll go ahead and click on the quick start add data select our integration next I'll select all the fields and rearrange the column all right. click next and click finish so as you can see right now we we are not able to display our data right because vbcs doesn't understand like how offset and limit is need to be passed in the in the url right so if i click on the preview and open the inspect page and go to the network tab so if you see this is our integration call right and you can see in the url right now it doesn't have the url parameter of offset and limit so just to see uh, this in action um, we can right now hard code the values for the offset and limit so if i go to the variable this is our stp that is used to populate our table so you can see right now both are not mapped right in the limit i'll give the value of again 30 and offset 0 click save and again i'll click on the preview button and as you can see this time we are getting our data back and if we check the url you can see at the end there is a limit and offset parameters passed in the url right so right now we pass this as a hard code but we don't want to pass it as a hard code value because like as the user starts scrolling the page our api needs to fetch the uh, another another set of record another page right so if i go back to the vbcs i will remove the parameters i'll i'll just delete the hard coded value right i'll click save and if i go back to my services again click on the uh, integration service that we just added and go back to the server sorry and go back to the overview and in the transform right now you can see there is none what i want to do is like i will create a new transformation so i'll click create and here it gives me the option of the functions what we want to do with it right so in our case it's a pagination and i'll say give a name of paginate.js and click ok and if I click on go to file just to see like what it does behind the scene right so it has like few co um, commented functions for the other other fields like filter criteria and those kind of thing and if I scroll down here we can see there is a page in it function that VBC has created for us and since our integration we already are using total count and has more functionality or the variable that's why it's like matching uh, over here in this function but if you are using any other name in the url or the integration you might want to come over here and change those variables or or the logic over here so now if i click on the preview once again and i will just clear um, and you can see it started fetching the records right uh, it's doing doing itself because we didn't set a height for the table so let's just do that first i'll go to the main start click on the page designer and in the all i'll search for style and i will give a fixed height of maybe 300 pixel click on the preview once again and i'll just clear the network tab so that we can see our uh, network request clearly so uh, as you can see right now uh, 25 set of records are displayed if i start scrolling you can see there's another request made with the offset 25 and same thing for another pages right so this is how you can implement 
pagination in the VBCS using OIC and the autonomous database. Thank you.